Dan and I were just talking. If you can run, if you can handle the bat, Maury came to see you. You were just telling that story. Soft-spoken guy. Spent a couple of spring trains with the Brewers. Worked with Pat Listash, who ended up being the AL Rookie of the Year. Yeah, and led the league in stolen bases. Oh, and, and just at a world of knowledge. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. So one of the things that Maury taught me, Greg, was to bunt and your footwork and how to do it. So I'm a, a little tribute to him. I'm going to go ahead and show you some things that he taught me. But first, let's go to the board, watch some video of Maury bunting. I mean, the guy was clearly known for stealing bases. That was his main thing. He never thought, he and Lou Brock talked about this a lot, a left-hander is easier to steal off than a right-hander because they're always going to be predictable and easy. They're looking right at you. They're easier to read. So he would just drive them fits. But the jumps he used to get, his explosion, the balance, all that stuff that he would talk about continually worked. But it was his bunting, being able to look around the field, shoot the ball where he wanted to, but drop a bunt at any time, particularly this, when you pull the butt bunt with you. Not many people did that. Remember, he was playing like in the 60s early. This footwork right here, by setting and then bring across the step and drop it and bring that bunt with him, he could do so many things. He felt like from that position, it just depend on the pitch if he wanted to go to first or second. I couldn't do that. I made up my mind I was going to go to third, I mean, or second base or whatever. So, Dan, go ahead. You're going to throw some to me. The biggest thing that, that Moore used to teach, if I was going to third base, it was a jab step and I could drop the bunt here. And if I was going to go to first, I want to get a high pitch and bring it with me. So I'll do the jab step, go down to third base. You might back up a little bit there, Steve. But I got you. All right, Dan. Uh, right there. Look at that butt. Well, Woo! that's a beauty right oh, there. That's a beauty. That, that is textbook. He's so proud of that one. Uh, There's another one. Right that's there. two. So it's just the footwork. This little jab step allows me to come here, look it in, and I'm look gone. at that. I could be dead in that ball. Dead in that thing, so too. Kenny Lofton, a lot of guys did that. Then the ball you would pull with you. And this right. is just a foot race with the pitcher. I wanted the ball up, and look I bring this. it with me. All right, right there's a knock. I just wanted the ball right here. I get it there. Oh! And just uh, turn it into a foot race. Easy money. Easy money. I know there's a lot of things I could do, but I can't beat you in a foot race no. to first base. I'll tell you I do what, know. last thing, Greg, I'll throw it to you. Maury told me, when you stop running as a base runner, a threat like myself, now all of a sudden 3-2 becomes a junk pitch. But if they know I got a threat to run, they're going to make me swing the bat and I get my fastball.